Ah, uh, hello, welcome back to another Bob's Burgers reaction. We're on season seven, episode seven, the last gingerbread house on the left. Okay, I'm guessing that this is obviously the Christmas episode of the season. And I don't know what to expect, to be honest. I mean, obviously, it's involving gingerbread houses. I don't know, maybe they're entering like a gingerbread house competition or some shit like that. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna be real. I fucking hate gingerbread. I reckon it tastes, it's the most, one of the most foul things I've ever tasted before. <laughs> I don't know if that's like an unpopular opinion or what, but I just do not like it. But yeah, I mean, I've got nothing else really to predict. Let's just get into this. Oh shit, does this have no oh intro? My God. Oh One my week God. before Christmas. Uh -oh. You looking at the kids' Christmas list again? <laughs> binders, Lynn. They put them in binders this year. What the fuck? Okay. We're so poor, Lynn, and it's Christmas again. Yeah. It keeps coming. It never stops. Okay. Honestly, that's honestly how it feels. The fucking... Each year, I swear to God, it, it comes faster and faster. Look, we'll do all we can and it'll be fine. Besides, yeah. you know what the greatest gift of all is? Family. Family. Yeah, okay. You say that to the kids with a straight face. <laughs> I mean, like, I, de I definitely feel like they, to an extent, at least feel that way. The kids will be okay. They know it's not all about Christmas presents. They know. Christmas presents count. <laughs> okay, yeah, never Christmas mind. Maybe it is. But to be fair, that, that I feel like that's the case with most kids. Look what I found at sale at the store. These light up Christmas necklaces. Oh, hell yes. They're only a buck ninety nine for five. Can you believe that unbelievable bargain? Okay, that's actually yeah, kind of cheap. Too. Well, I think it's a sign that this is the year. The year of Belcher family Christmas. I mean, caroling. sure. Oh, no. Yeah, caroling is fucking odd. I don't think that's ever been a thing in Australia. At least in my experience, but like, I've only ever seen that in movies and shit, and it does seem very odd. People will want to join us, and our group will get bigger I mean, and bigger maybe. until his hands across America. Do people even still carol? Oh, Amity, Is that sort of thing people will actually do? On the news again. Turn it up, damn it. Amity, the albino polar bear what the fuck? The bog what do you mean, albino polar bear? Aren't they always pure white? Come on, Bob. Time to go caroling. Hell yes. Where are they even going to go? Yep. It's a shame I could only wear this sweater four months out of the year. <laughs> Why only Bob's four burgers. months? I thought it would have been oh, shorter than that. Landlord, Calvin Fishroder. Okay. Oh, hi, Mr. Fishroder. Bob, I need you to deliver some food to my house. Oh, God. A little so, I guess Bob can't do the caroling, which, I mean, he's probably going to be completely fine with that. My family, so... What? Why? <laughs> anyway, Bob, I don't want to... Honestly, that's fair Calvin, reaction. Actually, I do. Oh, okay. How much food do you need? Oh, I don't know. Just just bring five or six foods. Oh. Out. I thought he was about to say 500 for food for 500 people. Aw, Bob, what about caroling? Well, we'll just drop off some burgers and then we'll go afterwards. <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair enough. Oh, Bob would be great at getting sacrificed. He's got the body for it. <laughs> what, what, what does that even mean? How do you have the body to be sacrificed? Okay, I'll be right back. And they never saw him again. What's the password? Uh, um, it's Bob. I'm just here to drop off some food. That's not it. Felix, let me. <laughs> well, how the fuck is he meant fine, to have the password? Asks, no, the you password. Totally knew the password was pee pee poo poo one two three four. What? Okay. Of course, the most mature password on earth. What the fuck is this a cult or something? Oh god, please don't be something horrible. <laughs> I would be surprised if it was. What the hell? Cover me with candy and eat me. I guess it is just a gentleman's Welcome club or some gentleman's shit like that. Gingerbread house competition. Okay. Wait, what? It's a competition. Hello. I mean, I guess I got that right. Hey, listen. Oh well, yeah, at least eat the fucking food. Gingerbread houses. Well, actually, not bad. My mom and I used to build them together before oh, she died. It was Wait. kind of our thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I've always wondered what happened to Bob's mom. I mean, I mean, mom, it got like explained in the comments, but I never actually heard it in the show. Your I lose. You wouldn't think it by the looks of them, but those men out there, the, those, there are, it's, well, the, they are some creative bastards. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, I should really get going. Uh, oh my god. He's, uh, are you fucking serious that he's actually holding you against his will? Hey, what if you don't have to pay the rent next month? Huh. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess that is a good deal. Christmas presents for the kids. That's not what I do, but sure. <laughs> okay, okay, I I'll do it. Fantastic. Okay. And, and well, okay. I guess Bob and Linda, I mean, Linda and the kids are going to be waiting for fucking ages. And if I do this, we won't have to pay rent next month. And we can use that money to buy you-know-what for the you-know-who's. Who are the you-know-who's? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Willy. Yeah, plus, oh. they could probably fucking definitely hear you. Competition madness. Me too. Okay, yeah, so, I guess they're not caroling, which that, I mean, that, honestly, I would rather fucking watch it. a gingerbread no, kids, you, you go with your mom. Built house building competition. Too. Okay, well, sold me. I bought it. Kids, I want you to know I'm not trying to replace your father while you're caroling. <laughs> okay, they're not so fucking... Choose, you may call me caroling, Dad. They're... Thanks, Teddy. Not... It's not like they're fucking divorced. Simple. 
if your house falls down, it's disqualified. So okay. I just build it really tall and extremely unstable. Imagine if Bob actually manages to find a way well, to accidentally win this thing. Yeah, you're fine. Anyway, right before the end, down goes your house. The judge declares a winner and a loser, which won't be me, and bing. Okay. It's over. The judge? What, what judge? Godfrey, the same guy who's been judging this thing since the beginning. Wow. Oh my god, is he, he is even alive? Old. Is he alive? <laughs> Let's find out. Godfrey! Yeah. Okay, at least he's alive. That would be pretty fucked if he wasn't. We can't really start until last year's loser puts on the loser hat. Who, who was last Calvin year's loser? Calvin has to wear it every year. It's an old bed perm. It's very shiny. Wait, is that why he wants Bob to lose? So he's not the fucking nice. loser for once. Wow, Mr. Fish Oda's neighborhood really is beautiful. I mean... It is like the rich part of town, so it's not that surprising. Oh man, I know that place. Why? I've heard crazy stories about oh my the guy God. that lives there. Stories not suitable for children. Like what, Teddy? Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> see all those okay. dead sheets up in the windows? Yes. Put those up there to hide his evil deeds. Honestly, I thought, I thought it was going to be like something like to do with drugs or something. Teddy, stop with your stories. You're ruining the vibe. Come on, let's go carol the crap out of this place. Yeah, okay, then. I came here for hot chocolate, I'm... not not chocolate. I gotta say, gentlemen, I'm feeling good about this year. What the fuck even is that loser's hat? It looks like it's some sort of weird toilet seat or like potty or so for a baby or something. There's a prize. You didn't know? We chipped like in a few and made seasons ago. Really large donation to the Bog Harbor Zoo to procure a private Christmas Day cuddle session with okay. Andy, the albino polar bear cub. He's the it bear right now. He's so fuzzy. Wow, my kids would love that. Why? Uh, because kids they, love yes, baby animals. They're kids. I don't think that's right. But okay, they, then. they do. Why do you guys want to cuddle a polar bear? An albino polar bear cub cuddle is... I still don't understand what they mean by albino polar bear. Like, doesn't albino mean, like, pure white fur or something like that? That's such a good order to do it in. Thank you. Oh, because Bob, is Bob going to try and win this? He's not smart. To win the fucking... To be able to go there. If a pear could be dumb and bad at things... <laughs> you know what I mean? A dumb <laughs> pear. Pears are the <laughs> okay, worst. Then. Oh my god. Okay. That actually jump scared me a bit. Oh, now you join in. Oh, uh, hark the angel <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that these people what? are even like oh, opening the door. About all the Christmas things. Okay, bye bye then. Everybody, peace on earth yep. and some mild. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> uh, great. Wait, come with us. Join our Christmas. Yeah, I don't think I don't think yeah, you're literally breaking into this house at this point. Your gingerbread scoring is exquisite. Oh, uh, thank you. You just gotta be firm but gentle. Show us. Um, okay. I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Buddy, <hit> shush! Mm. <sighs> so firm but so gentle. Uh-huh. And does your big fat belly get in the way of... Okay, um, Jesus no, Christ. It, it... Honestly, I don't know. I would be pissed if I was Bob at this point. Because... Considering that he's just sitting there insulting me the entire time to make himself look better. Okay, that's it. Calvin, can I have a word with you in the other room? Yes, no. stop being well, a dick. I'm doing you a favor, Mr. Fish Oder. You can't treat me like this. What's the matter, <laughs> Bob? Can't handle my garbage mouth? Oh my god. Trash talk? Trash talk yes, garbage being a Ginger dick. It's all the same thing. Like, it's not even trash talk game, at this point. Bob. It's just being we'll a dick. used to it. Well, get used to this. I'm gonna take you down. Oh, hell yes. I'm gonna try to win this thing. My honestly. I love that polar bear cuddle. That would be an amazing Christmas present. What? No. Yeah, honestly, fucking. At this point, it's probably better. For, it, would, it would actually solve the problem about the Christmas present. What's wrong with these people? A bunch of Christmas crumb bums. I mean, uh, caroling is. Is it like a fig. It's not a big fig anymore, so it makes sense that no one cares. We're not gonna get any cocoa. The only thing that's gonna make this worthwhile is going to that creepy dark house. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Uh, I got stuff to live for i have a <laughs> pair of pants on layaway at the mall doesn't anyone want to check out this crazy killer i mean bring christmas spirit to this i mean yeah but if he's actually better though you i'm just gonna straight up die murder don't tell your father um you would be dead I'm so you might be able to you, tell protecting you in the back where it's safe yeah why do i feel this guy is just gonna be like the nicest person possible and okay, actually I'll enjoy this thing you know the caroling or whatever <sighs> guess he's not home Hello. Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> that is actually kind of creepy, though. Ah, time's up. Contest over. Okay. Oh, nuts. Why did we hide instead of keep running? I don't know. Yeah, why did you stop? Oh my god, oh my god. This is how we die. I knew it. I knew it was going to be like this. I'm sorry. This guy's going to turn, like, walk up and be, like, extremely nice, isn't he? Oh, please, oh, please don't run away again. Sorry about the knife. I was chopping hazelnuts for a winter salad. Okay. You're carolers, right? I love carolers. Okay. Love killing them? Okay, the way this guy talks sounds kind of creepy as well. No, 
We are carolers, and we will sing for you, right? Right? Yes. Oh, great. Why don't you come a little closer, so I... Okay. Yeah, the... He's not making it any better of the... making it less creepy. Look closer. Okay. Uh... Boy, you guys are some small stepping carolers, huh? <laughs> Judging, judging. Okay, Bob. The fact that Bob was able to put that together in like in that short amount of time is actually quite impressive. You Santa snacker. He was delicious. You are so lucky. All my guns are on the gun table, and I'm not concealing any weapons. So um, are, you, are they gonna pull that fucking guns? Holy shit! No. Uh, what's happening? We're pointing guns at each other's ginger. Why? Bottles, obviously. Come on, Bob. Keep up. Where were you even hiding that? Let's just say I have a high butt crack. Oh. Well, if <laughs> <laughs> yes, amazing. Wait, what? Do you know this one? <laughs> what is this song? Okay, I mean, it's not actually that bad at singing, but it doesn't make him any less creepy. Unless he's just extremely lonely and socially awkward. This is silly. We should put our guns away. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or counterpoint? No. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? I would fucking, like, actually get the shits at him at that point. Like, because Bob probably would have won. Well, I mean, he was doing better than Fish Owner, at least. Nice pipes. Yeah, honestly, oh, he's thanks. actually not too I'm bad. Oscar. Care for some hot cocoa? Uh -huh. Yes, please. Sure. That sounds good. Yeah! I mean, I guess they're not scared anymore. I mentioned if it turns out he's a fucking murderer. Well, it finally happened. We finally shot up each other's gingerbread houses. I'm honestly surprised it took until this year. <laughs> Wait, this is the first time that's happened? <laughs> Thanks so much for inviting me to your competition, where I was almost a casualty <laughs> yes. in a gingerbread massacre. Calm down. Yeah, take a chill pill. Y I mean, you just pulled out a gun, so of course he's going to get fucking terrified. Bob's house is the least destroyed. So I guess... Uh, oh shit, wins. Bob does actually win. Oh my win. god. So yeah, in hindsight, maybe covering all the windows with bed. Yeah, why did you do that? Oh, Asuka, go caroling with us. Oh, and we can finally do the song You Can't Spell Christmas Without Us. Okay. You can be our soprano. I mean... <gasps> I'd love to. Great, okay. but no killing us, okay? <laughs> is there even any houses I left to do the caroling? No, it just says monk. I can't uh, believe I won. Oh, quick gloating. Hey, does that mean the rest of us lost? Yeah, if you're all tied for last place. Well, there's some good news. We're all losers. <laughs> this is all Bob's fault. He oh my fucking god. Are they going to, like, get the shit to try and shoot him again now? Well, until next year, gentlemen. Yep. What is that awful racket? Oh wait, is this for the fucking Carolyn? <laughs> Should we shoot them? <laughs> oh my god, really? No, Bob, that family of yours, they're, uh... They're lucky to have you. Thanks. I mean, yeah, Thanks, honestly. Now you say something nice about me. Um, you are pretty... Uh, I? <laughs> like a line, Bob, but... Merry Christmas. I mean, yeah, like, is there even anything good you could say about Fish Oda? Like, every time Mr. Fish Oda's in an episode, he is a fucking prick. Like, at least 99% of the time. <laughs> What are you doing? You yeah, why are you wearing? You couldn't walk so good before. Like that looks about real fucking place. uncomfortable. Remember the big eighth grade beach bonfires this weekend? Oh. With any luck, Jimmy Jr. and I will be sharing a blanket and maybe more. Okay blanket. then. Probably not. Let's be real. I mean, to be fair though, that Thanksgiving episode they were basically making out on stage. Some people are going to the bonfire as a couple. Yeah, but most kids are going in a big group. Oh, big group. okay. Back to that couple idea. Maybe we could go early and get some sticks pre-marshmallowed. Really hit the I mean, uh, yeah, he, he doesn't seem too into it. I'm like, I'll be really surprised. So, from down here, that didn't look like it went quite. <laughs> no, that went terribly. I'm just gonna walk away, my head held high. Ah! Okay. So, I'm not okay. Wait, what? No, it's a bad sprain. Oh, but so, I mean, are you really that surprised? Considering you're wearing those weird fucking high heels and that. Hey, I'm back from the thrift store. Did you say goodbye? Wait, what the fuck does he have a guitar? I think they were happy to be back. I forgot we bought them there. Anyway, okay. while I was there, I happened to see this guy. Okay. Oh, an old banjo case. What's oh, wait, is it a banjo? Uh, oh, banjo. okay. What are you going to do? I mean, I, I don't think a banjo is as exciting as a guitar, though. I can keep it back here, and then I'm always ready to pull it around. Do you even know how to play this, Bob? be a banjo moment. Okay. What the heck's a banjo moment? <laughs> Any moment of time that would be slightly better with banjo. I mean, sure. How often would that actually happen, though, to be honest? Yeah. 
Someone's in the kitchen yes. with the banjo. Come on, yeah. I want to hear banjo music to it. Fantastic news about your ankle. What? Thanks, Mr. Why is that fantastic news? Fantastic news? Yes. Recently, we were approached by a tech company. Okay. Robotics. Robotics. Oh, wait, wait, what the fuck? It's got something to do with robotics. It's a way for mobility impaired kids to go to school without going to school. Wait, what? Does it work? I don't know, Tina. So it's basically like a weird version of home learning. Okay, Tina, we're seeing you here. Are you seeing us there? I see yeah. you. So this basically uh, is right. like a version no, of home I'll learning. Rotating left. Okay, here it goes. Doing it. <laughs> uh, no, they meant with the, the joystick with your thing. Joystick? Yes. Oh, cut it. Mm. Sorry that a smarter kid didn't get it. Oh my god, that kid, that's fucked. Yes, what? Oh. Um, good microphone. Okay. You know, a guidance counselor is gonna get injured. <laughs> I can hear you. Yes. Yeah, they're a microphone. They're kind of fucking... It's, I'm sure they no. It feels kind of like seems like school. weirdly oh. fucking Who advanced did, for, you know, school. You're too skinny. Eat a battery or something. <laughs> Whoa, there it is. Watch out, mankind. Ugh, Tina's a robot. Look at me, look at me. I'm a oh robot. my god, exactly. are you fucking exactly kidding what me? what she's doing. Hi, guys. Hi, Jimmy Jr. Uh, hi. Hi, Tina. This thing is not Tina, Jocelyn. It's I mean, it fucking is Tina. She's controlling it. You're it. like a ethnic Steve Martin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> play something. Okay, I'll try. Does he even know how to play this? It's my first day with this thing. So. Okay, so in other words, no. Oh, hell yes. Holy cow. You're what the natural. fuck? I guess how the hell does he manage to do this on the first day? Like, I mean, I don't know how good this actually is. Because, you know, I've never played the fucking banjo. What the hell? It's working? I get it <laughs> well, I didn't expect the banjo moment to actually so. come true. Oh. <laughs> Coming through. Oh my god, oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, surely this is somewhat dangerous. Guess I missed it. Ah. Cool locker. Like we've done to it. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, robot. <laughs> okay, jeez. Um, 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 can I get a little help? help no, help, help you someone? cannot. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are people being dicks? Like, it's a bit, it's a bit strange. But, like, you don't have to be a dick about it. Don't put me in the AV closet. This is not kosher. No! <laughs> well, she's fucked. A robot. I mean, sure yeah. Come for me. I mean, to be fair, I'd probably prefer this over. I'll give another. You'd have actually been at school. Come on, seriously? What the fuck is he I'm doing? Not you, I'm me. <laughs> what the fuck? Tina? Oh, yeah. Hi, Jimmy Jr. What are you doing here? Oh, I had a fight with my dad this morning. He okay. Said I have to go to speech therapy instead of dance club. <laughs> I don't need okay. Speech therapy, Dad. You need dance therapy. Oh yes, bird. Why are you here? Mr. Bronca thought I was an AV cart. I guess they're both misunderstood. Yeah, sure. We have thoughts and feelings, people. <laughs> yes. Wait, is he actually going to be a bonding? But I didn't expect this. Tina, yeah, you're really easy to talk to as a robot. <laughs> that I would, I would honestly not take that as a compliment. Sometimes I feel like I just notice things, you know? Like how trees are really just giant plants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. No shit, they're uh -oh, giant that's plants. That's my low power warning. I want to keep talking, but I'm at 3% battery. Wow, we missed fifth period. We talked for hours. Yeah, what yeah, the fuck did that just ditch talk. the entire day? Can, um, can I walk you home? Uh, oh. The robot lives at school, but you can walk me to the charging station. <laughs> uh, I'm at 1%. Let's go. Move, move. Maybe being a robot isn't so bad. I mean, I guess so. Apparently, if that's like the most you and Jimmy Jr. apparently ever spoke to each other. Because any other time, he just kind of blows you off. Any other time, he's just kind of like... Like, oh, yeah, whatever. And doesn't even talk to you. Robot. Sorry, guys. Tina, that is not a problem. <laughs> we asked. You gave us an answer. We respect that. Okay. Yeah, of course they're fucking sneaking. Even asking, Tina. <laughs> Wax staff after dark. Okay, what should we do first? Bumping um, how the hell did they manage to get out of the, like... Like, surely... I thought that, you know, the door would have been shut or whatever. We got all night. Like, the... <gasps> that this thing was in. He's coming this way. What do I do? Whoa. Hello, human. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. He's another banjo moment, I guess. So, not a banjo moment. <laughs> Let me check. Um, no. <laughs> Good night. Night. Is he gonna do it like in the middle of the night randomly? Yet. Bob, I swear to god. I'm sorry, I thought you were asleep. I waited. What that quickly? After five fucking seconds, like she would have to fall asleep pretty quickly. Tinabot, come into the AV closet. I, I want to show you something. Okay. Something I haven't shown anyone, not even Zeke. Okay, jeez. Yeah, that's, that's actually fucking 
kind of uh, messy. I worked on some poems, you know, about my life. And okay. Kind of like things I'm going through. Okay. Poems, life, going through, yes. <laughs> yes. Of course, I you got enjoyed this it. Idea to put poems and music together. Isn't that just a like, song? Song? <laughs> yes. What? Oh, right. Here's the first What one. the fuck is. Dad, I use your cologne because you won't buy me my own. What? The... Here's another one. Cards! <laughs> What the fuck is this? Then, um, what if God's name was Todd? <laughs> why Todd? What the f why fucking Todd? Watching Damn, what the from a distant place. I'm okay, the fact that they still continue this is fucking hilarious. Place. Amazing. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, Jimmy Jr. is weirdly into the fucking Tina robot thing. Also, I love the fact how. Louise and Gina just enjoyed this so much. Tina, Jimmy Jr.'s at the door. She might be a sec. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy Jr. He came down the stairs like the actual- How the fuck is he meant to get back up? It's been a while since we've seen each other in person. Yeah. Uh, and it's gonna be fucking awkward so, again, isn't it? So... Any new muse I'm gonna go. Okay. Oh, okay, good talk. What the fuck, okay. Not really. Yeah, I didn't see that. It was a little embarrassing, but I didn't see it. God, <laughs> mom. Banjo? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, of course. I've decided I'm gonna perform my museums for everyone at the bonfire. Oh god, no. As my day. Oh, wow, that that's fantastic. I mean, yeah, this might be a little... This is probably not the best idea to fucking have those things uh, at, with, like, in front of a bunch of people. Junior, are you asking me or the robot? It's the robot. But oh, I don't okay. think of you as the robot. I think of you as almost the real person. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this is not a necessarily good thing. So he only seems to care about you when you're the fucking robot, which is weird. Beach bonfire tonight, huh? Uh-huh. So you're going, but you're not going because you're staying here. But Jimmy Jr.'s going and you're going to... Yeah, it's just the robot? fucking strange. Part of virtual robot date, don't you understand? It just seems a little... Odd. Hey. Mom, I have a relationship now. And, and yes, sure. Changing it's, not, it's, it's not a real relationship, though. Let's be real. Considering how fucking awkward he was when in person. Okay, okay. Have fun. Yeah. Be home by... Never well, mind. Yeah. <laughs> She's already okay, fucking home. Now, was it, how the hell... The door. Yeah, I was gonna say... Uh, slow down there, R -poo -de -poo. A security guard. Don't worry. This guy's a pussy cat. <laughs> Yeah, I, was, I didn't even realize the fact that they're gonna have to get this thing out of the school. Maybe I should make a run for it. Just get on the road and ride as far as my charge will take me. Whoa, that's life stuff. That's you. Yeah, sure. The fact that they're able to like frame that robot head thing so perfectly is quite surprising. Yeah, right. No, really, I've got the key. I know the alarm code. Let me do this one thing for you. Okay. I'm totally lost here. <laughs> Safe travels, robot. <laughs> the fact that this actually works is hilarious. Okay. I'm still yeah, weird and like surprised Sorry, that this I'm is just a straight up school sand. trip. Also, I have like, well, at least associated with school that, considering that fucking Great. Mr. Tina's Froms totally is there. Is so much for not a kid's bonding. Now it's just screen time. Hey, Tina Bot, uh, the sign says no motorized vehicles on these. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God, you are a motorized vehicle. Yeah, it amazing. no trash on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, bro. That's actually fucking hilarious. Though. What the hell is the robot doing here? Did anyone approve this? I was told to do everything a normal student would do. Okay. Well, stay out of the water and stay away Yeah, from I mean, the obviously. Watch out for the sand and try to have. I mean, it's pretty hard to watch out for the sand at this point. Oh, here comes Jimmy Jr. Okay, Tina. Yeah. It's time. I'm gonna do my museum. Oh, God. Well, I'm pretty nervous, but I'm glad you're here. Oh, <laughs> okay, guys, this is in. weird. Please fucking stop. <laughs> in fact, the entire family's here. Tina, honey, you okay? You know, the same thing happened to me when I was... Yeah, wife. I'm sure really? it did. No, sweetie, this <laughs> is the first time this has happened yes. to anyone. That's it. Hey, everyone. It's such a nice night, and we're all together. And um, I have been writing some poems. Oh, God. This is, I'm sorry, but he's going to embarrass the shit out of himself, because everyone's surely going to be like, what the fuck is this? Uh, pants. Pants are pretty great. Yes, amazing. No, are these no, new ones? Pants. Oh, he's right. That's not a song. Yeah, no, no shit. <laughs> what the fuck even is it meant to be? Oh boy, he's dying. Yes. Where's the team bot? I mean, technically the robot's still yeah. there. Yes, Jimmy Jr., in person. Maybe it's more awkward this way. 
but at least it's real. I mean, yeah, that is quite true. I'm in a cat, then don't throw so hard. Okay. I don't like it. It's about That's parents' expectations being too much sometimes. I mean, sure. But if God. Yeah, you got this fucking uh, one again. Jimmy Jr. is our cat Stevens. And our cat, Steven. Remember him? Oh my god, Lynn. This is it. What, what is the banjo moment? Cat? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> is it? Get it, hurry. I'm going okay, now. sure. I still don't understand why this is a banjo an moment. For Keep going. Watch me for the changes. My left shoe smells, but my right one's okay. I mean, I don't see how the fucking banjo is going to make this any better. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wait, are you in our grade? Go, <laughs> yes, Dad. definitely. Cast? Oh, okay. Honestly, didn't expect this. I'm still so confused. I'm going to step over here. <laughs> yes. Hey, Miss Front, check it out. Banjo solo. Hell yes. Listen, I meant a little... I still don't understand. Like, I swear to God, in one minute, it seems like Jimmy Jr. and Tina are going, like, actually seem to like each other. But then it seems like what the next moment Jimmy Jr. doesn't seem to give two shits. Like it genuinely annoys me sometimes. What the fuck? Did they have like a gingerbread competition each year? Like at first I thought it would have been the whole family entering it, but Bob got you know practically sucked into doing it. Right, okay, that phrasing was probably weird. Bob pretty much got trapped into doing it by Fish Owner. Because he was going to get, you know, the rent money off. But then Fish Owner was honestly being such a dick. I don't blame Bob for being like, yeah, you know what? Fuck you, I'm winning this. Which, I mean, he was actually quite good at that. He did say that he used to do it with his mum. So so we got actual confirmation here that his mum died. I mean, people told me in the comments that that was the case. But I was wondering if they ever actually explicit, like, explicitly said that in the show. Or if it was just speculation. But I mean, I, I guess it does make sense. Because considering the... The mum just wasn't there. In that episode where the dad was in it. And in all the flashbacks and shit. Yeah, but the whole caroling thing. Like, I honestly, that's reaction from people is what I expected. Because, like, I don't know. I've never seen people caroling. It's like, is that a thing that people still do? It's definitely never happened where I live. But, like, if I answered the door and there was a bunch of people singing, I don't know what I'll do. It would Like, I wouldn't want to just shut the door because, you know, that's fucking rude. But it would be so awkward standing there listening to it. But, oh my god, the fact that they pulled out guns and shit at this fucking place because, you know, of the fact that they were so pissed off about losing or whatever and then turned around and blamed Bob because Bob was like, yeah, you've been fucking insane, just stop. Like, that was insane. Also, that guy, I felt bad for that guy with all the rumours and that that he's a fucking murderer and that, but, like, he was a bit creepy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm guessing it was just socially awkward or something or whatever, but, like, he was still a bit creepy. <laughs> but the, I do find it funny, though, that, like, none of those rich people seem to give two shits about their family. Like, Fish Oda literally lives with his brother. And he's like, oh yeah, fuck my brother, I don't care. Which, I mean, honestly, I'm actually kind of... My opinion is kind of fair enough with that. Considering the whole murder thing, but, like, they seem to just move on from that pretty quickly. Like, I don't think they care about that anymore. Like, I feel like... I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Fish Oda and his brother... Feel... Is it Felix? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to kill each other at least once a year. <laughs> that was a, the weirdest fucking... That was such a weird episode, but honestly, I fucking loved it. That's probably my favourite episode of the season. Besides maybe, like, Flui the Fluise episode. I mean, this wasn't as weird as that. But, like, how the fuck did the school manage to get hold of this techno... Weird, like, robot thing... That's basically just a home learning with extra steps. Like, that's basically what it is. Like, home learning, but, like, you still technically have to go to school. It's fucking weird. Is that an actual thing that people tried to invent? Because, yeah, again, surely that would be fucking hard to pull off, considering, like, the robot thing could get stuck if the floors aren't completely flat and all that. But, yeah, that weird relationship thing with the robot Jimmy Jr. had was weird, because I just find it so weird that he was more fine with, like, Getting into a relationship with a robot version of Tita, but like in real life, it was the most awkward shit on earth. Which I mean, I'm not that surprised because again, the whole Tina and Jimmy Jr. thing, like I can never keep up with it. Because one minute it seems like they actually like they both seem to like each other, but then other times it just seems like Jimmy Jr. doesn't give two shits about Tina. Like even as a friend, half the time it doesn't seem like he gives two shits. But <laughs> those fucking museums, what the? They're, I don't understand how they're meant to be a music or a poem. Like, because a poem is normally, normally longer than that, unless it's, like, a fucking haiku or something. But they were just... They were the most weird things ever. They were just sentences, like, said weirdly. The best one out of all of them, though, was one of God's name was Todd. Which is... Why fucking Todd out of all things? Also, I do find it funny that Louise and Jean, like, you know, at night, just said, fuck it, let's have fun, and 
pretty much just explore the school, just driving this thing around. Which I'm surprised they were able to drive it around at night. I thought there would have been some sort of, I don't know, measure to make it so it can't turn on while at night or something like that. But I guess not. I don't know. I'm going to leave it here. That was a really good episode. I enjoyed that. Oh, shit. I just realized I have not even talked about the fucking banjo. <laughs> that banjo thing. When, when it showed Bob actually being good at it and all the people coming to the restaurant, I was so confused. But obviously that was like his imagination or something because it wasn't exactly the best. But I do love that they bring back the whole banjo moment thing, which, what the fuck is a banjo moment? I mean, it was funny, though. I'm gonna leave it here. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.